ways, O Lord. Teach, teach me. And then, simultaneously, in the gospel, a scribe, who is an educated man, is compelled to ask Jesus what he thinks. He's basically, the scribe is asking Jesus to teach him. And Jesus does teach him. So there's the theme. Oftentimes we relegate uh, <clears throat> teaching what we learn to our minds, what we know, how we know, where we learn it. It's all relegated to our minds. But if you'll notice in Jesus' answer, there's nothing to do with the mind, nothing at all. It has to do with the way that we live our lives the way we approach life. And that teaching is, we are well-versed and very knowledgeable according to the depth and the extent that we are in relationship, that we are in relationship to God, and that we are in good, cordial, nourishing relationship with one another. If we don't live according to that teaching, we have no knowledge at all. But living that way is no easy task because we're so confronted by the images and the values and the attitudes of the world. And we see that happening a lot today where other factors other than honest and good relationship with one another is taking precedence over other things, usually things that are self-serving. But when we do live our lives for the other, and that's the great commandment, when we give ourselves away without any expectation of recompense, when our giving, when we approach others with unconditional love, then we understand. We understand. So, let us grow in relationship with God. God first. Let us grow in intimate understanding of God. And when we do that, being for the other, giving ourselves away to the other, comes with great ease and with great wisdom and huge amounts of knowledge.